at some point I'm going to collect all the times a guest has talked about the value of, I've heard them express it as not doing anything, but I think it really is not scheduling anything, either calendar type scheduling or just mental virtual scheduling. So go for a walk, not not with the idea that I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going to listen to a podcast or I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going to think about the next chapter of my book. No, just go for a walk. And I think that it's a response to how overscheduled and overstimulated our lives can be that so many people have suggested that. And I know usually twice a year, my husband and I vacation in Maine. We live in Philadelphia. Well, my husband's a pilot, so he can fly, but I've been driving because the rental cars are so expensive. It's just worth it to have our own car up there. And a couple of times I've done that 12 hour drive with no radio, no podcast, nothing going on, no audiobooks playing or anything like that. I've just driven. And it's been so therapeutic, <laughs> honestly. So that management of mental energy and giving yourself some downtime is important. And I know energy management is one of the things you particularly focus on. Are there other tips you have about energy management that writers can learn from remote workers? Yeah, great point. And you're absolutely right, Maddie. And I think for authors out there listening, finding what works for you, what's going to rejuvenate you. For me, that kind of unstructured thinking time, just being present with myself is when I run. And, you know, I know I, I, episode 129 with Mike Kuksala, he's big on standing and movement breaks and things like that as well. And I think movement's a really healthy thing for authors. But in terms of the energy management, that's something I talk about quite a bit in the book. And I think at the time, and it speaks to really what we're talking about today, Maddie, is that the, the world is moving fast and things are coming at us fast and decisions are, are having to be made very fast. And sometimes we need to slow that down and really do an audit in terms of where is our energy going each day, what's filling us and what's taking away from us. 